just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the only Miss Ania Saja. Hi. <laughs> what is going on? Welcome back. Married to Medicine, season nine, your second season. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. I'm happy to be back. Um, this is my circle of friends. I love them. You know, it's, it's been fun. It's been a great season. Well, you know, like I said, it's your second season. So how is this season different for you? I think it's different in the manner of, you know, I, I really know the ladies really well, you know, we've been hanging out, like it just, it never stops, you know? So I've gotten really close to a lot of the ladies. Heavenly and I talk almost every day. Quad and I talk, we have lunch together, like almost on a weekly basis, just went to Cabo for her birthday. Um, you know, Toy is in the neighborhood where we, you know, we see each other randomly, you know, driving by that kind of thing. So I'm in touch with a lot of them. So it just, just was just natural, you know, like it, I just felt more comfortable around these ladies because I'm, I'm close to them. Did you feel, you know, sometimes people come in, even though, you know, I, I know you watched the show before you were on it. Sometimes people come into their first season and they're like, wait a second. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I was not prepared for this. Like, did you come back, you know, more prepared, so to speak? I don't think it's being more prepared. I think it's just, you know, honestly, it, it goes, it goes on year round, you know, it, it never stops. You know, I've been hanging out with them. I've been in touch with them. So the only difference is, is that there's cameras there in front of us, but other than that, we, it, it's just like my normal life, you know, and the, the best part about it is that I am, I, I have a close, closer relationship with them. You know, I gotten, I've gotten to know them more. So it makes it just easier, I guess, filming this season because I, I know them more, you know. Well, one thing that has changed is your house is complete. Yes, yes. How nice is that to just have this renovation over and done with? Well, you know, yeah, I mean, it took like three years to build this house ground up. And, you know, when COVID comes in there, that kind of delayed things a lot too. So, and even after we moved in, we had to wait still like a few months for like appliances to come in and certain things like that. So we're finally a lot more settled now. <laughs> it's been like, what, a year since we've moved in. And so, um, it's, it's so nice to have all this space, especially with like two young kids that run around and, you know, we needed the space and we still haven't even done our basement yet. So, but just the first two floors have been amazing. Like just a lot of room, a lot of space. So there's more to go. So this million dollar budget is actually going to be, I mean, you're, excuse me, you're a million dollars over budget. Now there's even I'm more to come. 1.5 to 3 million. Wow. Well, listen, everyone needs two swings in their bedroom, right? <laughs> I mean, I think we have a total of five swings in our home. I'm getting like house envy. You know, I'm going to have to go out and get like a swing from my bedroom or something. <laughs> but, you know, for all the people that don't really understand like what I do, what you do, like Miss Influencer, $500,000 of free furniture. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. You know, um, I reached out to some furniture companies that I loved and, you know, that's just, that's part of blogging. You know, you just reach out and I did like, um, six months to some of them, some of the contracts are to a year, just blogging, you know, the rooms and, um, showing off their furniture and yeah, it's been, it's been a blessing. Yeah. Wow. And look, we all saw the coming attractions. I've watched the pilot, you know, it seems like this season you're contemplating moving your parents in. You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> what happens with that? But yeah, I mean, my parents definitely come visit They're, You know, you know, my mom, she's a handful. I love her, but you know, she, she's interesting. <laughs> is she enjoying, like, does she get recognized? Like, is she enjoying her reality TV Bravo fandom? She does. She does. Sometimes I'm like, wow, you're getting recognized more than me. <laughs> But, you know, I think it's just even her voice, like if people hear her voice, they were like, oh, we, we know that voice. But yeah, you know, she, she definitely does get recognized. Um, and yeah, she's enjoying it. She, you know, she, she loves it. Bravo fans love their mothers. 
or love the Bravo mothers. Well, you know, on a more serious note, you know, I know this happens like during filming, like your house was broken into. I mean, I followed that on your Instagram. So, I mean, how are you with that? I mean, how do you kind of move past that? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely very um, traumatizing for me and my family. Um, you know, nothing, nothing like this has ever happened to us. And of course it was heartbreaking for it to happen in our brand new home that we just moved into. So it was um, not a fun experience. I would never wish this upon my worst enemy. You know, it was really hard, but you know, you just have to get through it. You know, I think we have um, a lot of security now in our home. And so we've been able to kind of move past it and it's been several months now, but it was definitely very, very hard initially. And I know, like, do you know what's going on? Like, did they catch the people? I know you said you thought like your home was yeah, like cased. I have a PI and he's um, still under investigation. So we're still investigating all of it. Wow. Well, that's scary. I'm glad that everyone is okay. Did you like connect? Like, I know like Kyle Richards has had this happen. Like Dorit, like, did you hear from anyone like in the Bravo verse or? No, I haven't, but I, we do need to reconnect because I know that Dorit went through similar situation and it's, it's just, it's sad and it's devastating. So yeah, I mean, I definitely should, re, you know, connect with her to see how she's doing because it's, it sucks, you know, going through that. Absolutely. Well, you know, also Dr. Saja said, you know, it was okay to spend another million dollars because this is your forever home. You had a visceral reaction to that. I mean, is this your forever home? I mean, I'm like, for him to say that, like, we never know if any home is forever home. Like, am I comfortable in this home? Yes. I mean, we still have to do our basement. We still will eventually do a pool in our backyard. So we still have a lot of growing in this home. It could be our forever home. I'm very happy with it. I love it. But you never know, you know. You never know. You never well, know. Toya has sold her forever home and <laughs> lives not as close to you, but still close. I know you guys have had some bumps in the road. Like you were open about like, how are things with you and Toya today? I mean, I think today we are in a much better place. I think, um, you know, throughout the season, we do go through some ups and downs that you guys will see. But um, I think now where we are, we're definitely you know, taking baby steps and trying to rebuild that trust and that friendship. So. Do you think like your coming on the show had something to do with the bumps? Like, do you think there wouldn't have been bumps like if you didn't join this group of women? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily that. I think it's more just, you know, trying to respect each other. You know, I think that's what I was missing from her. You know, last year was just that respect and just the communication was off. And I think, you know, she needed, we needed to kind of go through that and under, she needed to understand me more. It, it was just like the delivery of the way she would talk would be like, you know, off and stuff. And I think she's grown a lot. And I think, you know, I see definitely a positive change in her this year. So I'm only hoping that we, you know, can hopefully get back to where we were one at, at one point. That's good. Mm -hmm. I hope so too. We see from the trailer also, you know, like it seems like she might be having some troubles in her marriage or she's going through something like you're a happily married woman. Like, did you give her any advice? Like what advice would you give her if you didn't give her any advice yet? 